welcome back to apple tree allotment come down here in the evening it's the start of july now haven't been down for a few days because it's been raining quite a lot although it has been quite warm um we've got a few days where it's not going to rain and then back to the rain i think um so i thought i'd come down we've got a couple of jobs to do we're going to harvest the rest of the garlic um we're going to um plant out these two um, courgette plants. We've already got two down here and two at home. Um, but as we've got the space, I'm gonna get these in. They're growing okay in the pots. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get them out and we can always freeze anything we don't use. Um, so I'm gonna get them in today. And I'm also gonna plant out this sweet potato plant. My mum brought it around, she saw it in a garden center or something. Um, and I've never grown them before. So we'll give it a go this year and see how that does. Um, if it does well, maybe we'll do a bed of them next year. That'd be interesting. Um, yeah, so everything's doing really well. See the potatoes are huge now. Totally taken over that side of the allotment, which is brilliant. Really looking forward to harvesting the first two this end, our uh, first earlies. So I reckon about another week maybe, and then they will have been in 12 weeks. Um, so I'll start digging up a couple of plants and see how they get on. Um, so last week we put in these pumpkins, so we've got these two front beds, three in each, um, and they're doing pretty well, um, they're looking, looking pretty healthy, they're looking okay, um, so yeah, they're growing away. Next two beds we've got our three sisters beds, so we've got our sweet corn, um, pumpkins and beans, um, so they've got nine sweet corns in each bed two pumpkins and then each sweet corn's got one or two bean plants put next to it um most of them haven't come up yet i planted them purposely after the sweet corn went in so they'd give the sweet corn a bit of chance to get growing um yeah so we'll see if they get going i've got a load of beans growing at home as well um that i was going to put in place when the potatoes come out um so if i if i need them i can always use them as well um yeah but i'm really happy with them they're they're getting nice and big, getting nice and healthy. So hopefully we'll have a good crop this year. Um, the next two beds, we've still got our broad beans in. We've already had a couple of harvests off this, um, but we're gonna do some more today, actually. We've got, there's a whole load on here um, that are pretty big. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna harvest those today. There's loads more on these other plants as well. Um, yeah, so they've done really well, actually, much better than I expected. Um, so I'm happy with them. So here is the, at the back of the first row, first sort of columns, we've got our garlic beds, they've all fallen over now. Definitely time to come out. Um, first lot we had out of this bed um, on the right here. We're actually quite good. We've used quite a few of them already. Um, and they were really nice and really good flavor, reasonable size to use. Yeah, so we did quite well there, quite happy with those. Um, in their place in this bed, we've got three butternut squash plants. They're still looking, they're not looking amazing, to be fair. They're a bit yellow, um, but hopefully they'll perk up. They've got plenty of time still. So we'll, we'll see. Hopefully they'll get going. Um, I've got to show you actually back here. I'll come back, 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 back. There's um, the biggest pumpkin plant has got a nice, nice few little babies on. So there's one um, and there's another one there. Um, yeah, so that's doing really well, starting to creep across already quite a bit. Um, there was two types of plant pumpkins I planted. One was Bambino, so I'm assuming smaller ones, and one was um, a sort of more standard sized pumpkin. Um, so yeah, we'll see how, how that gets on. Um, over this other side, we've got some tomatoes. These were, so I've got two beds at home of tomatoes. Um, I've got some cherry tomatoes and some sort of bigger tomatoes. Um, and these ones were the ones that were just sort of left over. Um, I thought I had the space, so I thought I'd chuck them in. They're starting to green up a bit better now, starting to look a bit healthier. There is one nice big tomato on there. Um, yeah, so hopefully they might do all right. Um, our courgettes down here, they've grown up quite a bit. They're looking good. A couple of little courgettes growing on there. Um, I spotted some, I think it's around the other side, yeah, by that flower. Um, those two, 
the ones at home we've got a yellow one at home and a green one i suspect that one will be a yellow one because the leaves leaves are quite yellow apparently that's a, a a thing they do um yeah so i reckon that one yeah in fact it is there's a little little tiny baby courgette in the back there look so yeah that one's definitely a yellow one and that one's a green one so that was good fortune um so i've got one of each here as well um yeah so the ones at home have got some harvestable size courgettes just about the next day or two so we'll be starting to eat them and no doubt they'll really start going then um, and then here's the other end of our potatoes so we've got our main crops this end second early's in two beds first early's in two beds there's a whole load of them there they're looking amazing i'm really happy with those um, and i'm looking forward to about a week week two to eight weeks start getting those first early's out um i'll just ha harvest in a few at a time yeah and we'll we will see how how good they are when we harvest them so jobs for today obviously i need to water to get that done um but before i do that i'm going to plant it out harvest these gar garlic and plant out the courgette we've harvested all the uh, remaining garlic so there's good good bulbs here quite a good size um they're not particularly divided into their little um little segments yet but the last ones we dug up were a bit like that and they were fine to eat um yeah so there's, there's a good amount there nice amount of garlic so we'll get that home probably use most of it fresh um but we'll see next job is to um plant these courgettes so i've got another green one and another yellow one and i've got this sweet potato i'm going to put in the middle um, so they've actually got some quite good fruit on these these yellow ones seem to fruit really well i'm really quite impressed with them so far um, be interesting to see what they taste like whether it's worth doing again next year we've harvested our broad beans we've got a nice bucket full it's good good meals worth there so i'm really happy with that and there's plenty more on there still growing yeah i reckon another week or two we'll get another harvest the same sort of size last little job we just had a little look to see if the potatoes are doing okay the first earlies um so these are maris bard first earlies um and there was a few good ones in there so we've just harvested one row um so three plants um and obviously they're first early so it's meant to be a little bit little but we've got a nice nice little uh, pot full so there's a, enough for a meal there so that's pretty good going um yeah so i'll probably i'll leave the rest in another I'll, I'll just harvest them sort of a row at a time as we need them and let the rest grow on um but yeah certainly leave them another week or so and hopefully they'll get get a few more plants there were lots of little um little bits that look like they were growing into potatoes soon so yeah maybe it will grow more if i leave it a little bit longer um yeah hope you enjoyed that little few little jobs on the allotment today and having a look at how how well everything's doing um yeah hope you're you're doing okay and everything's growing really well and you're well and i'll see you next week <laughs>